Let us see. We have Abdul. We have a fish. This fish always a cry. Hello. Yes, Hello? Abdul. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Oh, give me a second, brother. Salam alaikum. First of all, wa alaikum salam. Why you are saying to me okay. assalamu alaikum? Huh? Why you no, are because saying? Because I wish peace to you, man. I wish peace to you. Inshallah, you come to the dawah. But you are not allowed to say peace to the Christians. Yeah. Well, well, it says um, that Prophet Muhammad was a mercy to all mankind. So well, 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 no, 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 this is not true. Your prophet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your prophet said, "Don't greet the Christians with peace." While you are lying. Oh my God! So don't so say "Oh my God" when you speak to me. Say "Oh my Allah." Oh my Allah! Oh my Allah! Uh -huh. So why you are lying to me? Isn't it your prophet? He says that don't greet Christians with the peace. No, no. It says that uh, mercy is synonymous to uh, peace, man. Okay. So what if I show you? What you will do? Uh, let, let me open this uh, YouTube thing, man. Mm. <clears throat> And I don't see why you were. Uh, I was watching. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Read the verse. There is a hadith with me. Huh? Wait. Wait. It's in the front of you. What, what do you want? Which one we want? One, There's many of them. Hmm. Yes. And by the way, just yesterday, I have four Muslims left Islam. Do you want to call them to tell them you are liars? The whole family, yes. the father yes, and the wife and his was... two daughters. Four stop people. Lying, stop lying. Four something. people. Said, Four Which people. Gonna... Cry. Okay, now read, 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 Abdul, read. While you are, while you are greeting me, you are not a Muslim. You are a false Muslim. You are not following the Prophet teaching. Shame on you. Muslim is uh, someone who practices Islam. And Which, practice exactly, Islam exactly. Islam. So your prophet and said, your prophet said, it. don't initiate, I, I don't initiate salam. So yeah. shut up. Your prophet said, don't initiate salam. So why you said to me, assalamu alaikum? Well, let me, let me read it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, read it. It's open. Abu Abu Raira. I like it when you say Abu Abu what? Abu Huraira. This guy is coming from the Congo. What Abu Huraira? Abu Huraira. Okay. What about about Abu Huraira? <laughs> Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira. The father of the same cats. Thing, Abu, Abu Huraira. Hmm. Okay. Narrated that the message of Allah. Do not initiate the saluting of Jews and Christians when you meet them. Mm. And if if you meet any of them on the road first. Mm. What do you think about such a filthy prophet who is saying to you, if you see us in the street, don't initiate salam to us, and not only that, you have to harm us and you have to force us to walk wait, in the sewage. Wait, 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 wait. brother. Oh no, this is not Sahih, this is a Daif. What we will do now. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to feed we it for can you. Look at you. So, if this is Daif, is not accepted by you, I, as I know that Daif is accepted too. So, what we will do now? What does Daif mean? Let me ask you this: What is what is Daif? Daif, it's mean someone like you, like your prophet, weak. So, so if it's weak, and it goes against the Quran, where it goes against no. the Quran, the Quran says, "Kill the Christians and the Jews." And force them to pay your money and humiliate them where well, it's against the Quran chapter 9 verse 29 okay you know what I'm going to forgive you you do not know as the rest of them no 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 that's doing, that's doing warfare what 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 welfare well, anyway, all of Islam is about welfare Muhammad he says I've been I've been commanded to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and they pay me the money and then, if they pay me the money, if they are Christians, I will not kill them. What welfare? Well, we Muslims also pay the money. It's called zakat. He, he will kill you too if you don't pay it. I agree. Muhammad is a criminal. Even if you don't pay zakat, Muhammad will kill you. Do you want to show you the reference? No. 
Do you show me. Okay, so if I show you what you will do. You got to show me first, man. Okay, if I show you, are you willing to send for us? Muhammad was a fool, Muhammad was a fool. Allah, stop. So why you are saying to me, show me? Each time I show you, you do nothing after that. So what do you mean, show me? No, I Either show me I to prove something to you, huh? Which which means if, if it's true, if it's true, you will leave Islam. Or oh, why you keep saying to me, show me? I show you, and then you do nothing, and you say, and then you say to me, brother, I have to go back and check it out, and I will be back to you, and you never come back to me. Do you see it? They have to pay the zakat. You see it, and then their blood is protected. Do you see the hadith in front of your eyes? As far as that, I have been commanded by Allah to fight people who testify that there is no God except Allah. And what is the message of Allah for Salah to pay zakat? If they do so, they will have protection of their blood and property of their except which just by Islam. And mm. yes, go ahead. Mm. Sit down, brother. Too bad this hadith does not have Abu Hurairah. So do you see? It says if you perform salat and pay zakat, then then their blood is protected from me. So your prophet want to kill you too. You have to pay him money. You have to do the prayer. You have to say shahada. If you don't do any of those, he will cut your neck. No, he it won't do violence, but he says he will protect you. Protect you from who? From him. It says here, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. Hello, Abdul, listen. I've been commanded to fight in word Arabic, which means to kill. Fight to kill until they say, until what? Until you do the following, you say Shahada and you worship Muhammad. You say here, you have to associate the name of Allah with the name of a man. His name is Muhammad. You Muslims are Mushrikeen. You are a big time Mushrikeen. You say what Mushrikeen? Mushrikeen associating the name of a man with the name of God. That is that is Shahada. So you have to associate the name of a man like Muhammad who married six years old kid and then no, you have to pray as he taught you to pray as he order you and you have to pay him money zakat otherwise then your blood will not be protected so the only way to be protected is to say shahada and do as he say and pay him the zakat and then your blood is protected Muhammad is a gang leader he's a thief now when uh, muhammad says there's no compulsion religion what does that that's mean? false this verse is not about not to force muslims to 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 stay muslims this is about the jews muhammad he heard that the jews are teaching their kids not to convert to islam so he said to them you cannot force them not to convert to islam that's not about muhammad he said that the one who changed his religion kill him no no because when it no says, no uh, no listen is... listen listen why you don't let an adult talk to me i mean you are what I, I, I don't know you are 21 years old what is your dad man what is your shake where's your shake okay okay i will i will try to uh, bring some uh elders to you man mm -hmm. you okay is it your prophet brother. saying that the one who changed his religion kill him no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Really? It says, it says in the. Uh -huh. I saw you saying something on screen, yeah, and I want to refute that, but you took it away because you were afraid I was going to refute it. Ah, it. no, because this is the wrong hadith. Here we go. This is the hate I want. Read it. Are you getting excited now? Here we go. Read it. The prophet this said, guy. "The one who changed his religion, kill him." Now, mm. so how, how the Quran says, you know, you cannot force somebody into religion, and here it says, kill him. And everybody knows, all Muslims agree if somebody leaves Islam, Abu Bakr, you have a big war to kill all those who left Islam. Why are you lying to yourself? What? Uh, what happened? Who ne uh, whenever. Uh, uh, well, uh, by the way, if you like Abu Huraira, I can get you Abu Huraira in the hadith too. The father of the cats. You know what Huraira means? The father of the cats. I mean, what kind of a man? His name is the father of the cats. Why? He was having sex with the cat? Why do they call him father of the cats? 
now, brother, man, it says uh, whoever changes his religion, kill me. It's not like mm. uh, I change my religion and then I become it. It's like change religion and go against Islam. Yeah. So, what the punishment? Kill him. No, but go against with a sword, man. But how how you kill a, how you kill somebody in Islam? You you throw at him a popcorn. It says kill him. Whoever changes religion, kill him. What do you do exactly? You throw a popcorn at him. What? No, but what? What, what are you talking? It's, if it's warfare, you're gonna go with swords. What? What? If they peace with what? Doing warfare, you're gonna go with swords. Yeah, kill him with a, I don't know, arrow or sword. Just... I'm done with kids. Adult. Who is next? All right. Yes, Mr. Ahmed. How I can help you? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Ahmed. Well, how I can help you? How can you help me? Well, what's the topic, man? What do you want to go for? The topic you make a is, lot of claims. The, the, a lot of claims. The topic yeah. is that it says in your religion you can have sex with your daughter. Abadan, that's a lie. What do you mean it's a lie? It's a lie. Show me in the Quran where it says that. Mm -hmm. I was just showing the screen. You didn't see it? Oh, show me the Quran. Quran, no tafsir, Quran. What about tafsir? The tafsir we just showed. Oh, no, no, Quran, Quran, Quran. Well, this is tafsir, Quran. This is interpretation of the Quran. No, give me the Quran verse, first of all. Give me the verse, please. Here we go. Chapter 25, verse number 54. Chapter 25, Bismillah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, my phone. Surah 25, what? 54. 54. Okay. <laughs> That's the biggest lie. Let me check. If he doesn't say that, then you're a liar. Mm. Let us see if I'm lying or not. Let us see. Mm. Is that Arabic supposedly? Yeah. Is that Arabic supposedly? You are speaking Arabic. Why am I speaking English? Well, you don't know Arabic. Why are you are playing? I mean, well, what? Well, the speak, to me. speak to me. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak, speak to me. Arabic. Speak to me. Arabic. Uh, uh, okay, so you, you are an Arab. You are an Arab. You are reading your own letters in your own language. Okay, no problem. Now, read for me in the screen. It says here. As long no, you show claim, me where it says. As long as long you claim that you speak Arabic, it's in front of you. It says. وَإِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ no, نَسَبًا شَرْعًا فَلَا صَهْرَ شَرْعًا فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِبِنْتِ أُمْ وَلَا أُمِّ بِنْتِ وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنْ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنْ الْحَرَامِ تفسير No, no, one second, let me go on YouTube now, you change it. Mm. Okay. Remember, you claim that you speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. No, 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 I didn't claim to speak Arabic, I know how to read it. <laughs> and I know the basics as well. I so. know how to read it, but okay. I don't speak Arabic. Okay, no problem. <laughs> That's a okay. Where does no no this is tafsir? I want the Quran. I just gave you the Quran. This is the Quran tafsir. Who okay, is the, the one who, who is the one who, see, who is the one who explained the Quran to the Christians? The Muslims, right? Verse says, and it is he Abdul. who has created from water. Listen, listen, listen. No, listen, listen, listen. Who is Where the is one? Who is the one who explained this verse to you as a Muslim? Oh, can you answer my question? Hmm. It says, Where did you say daughter? It's no, there it says it's in, it made law for word, you. Give me hold a on, word, hold give me hold where, where do I see the word daughter in this whole okay, verse? Where we can find the word Jesus in the whole Quran? Uh, Isa, nowhere. This is Isa, is not Jesus. So Isa there's no Jesus. Jesus. I asked you, is there a word Jesus in the Quran? You said no, you said Isa. So there's no, yes, there so what you say in the Quran? Why are you Muslim? You say, Where is the word Jesus? What is when, but you say Isa, in fact, here. If we want to read the verse to understand it, we have to read what the scholar is saying. Actually, listen, you said to me, I can marry my daughter. Where do I find this? No, the Quran says you cannot marry your daughter if she is your daughter from marriage. And that, that I've seen in front of you. Chapter 4, verse number 23. Oh, tafsir. The verse, okay, the man, verse, tafsir, okay. If she is a daughter, no, I'm showing you in the front of you on the screen. Stop lying. What do you mean hiding? I know, but I, I want the verse. I want a verse that says I can marry my daughter. No, Where this is not. Her? My, listen, this he is saying to you, this is what the verse mean. This is what the verse mean. Let me ask you. I don't care. It's not okay, okay it's according not to is okay. Let, let, let me, everybody will see in a second. According to Islam, if you have a daughter from illegal sexual relationship, is it considered as daughter for you in Islam? Yes or no? 
Well, you change subject. Man. I'm not changing. Medically, I'm not changing medically. subject. No, I'm not changing subject. I'm asking you: if you have a daughter out of marriage, is she considered your daughter in Islam? I have a daughter as out of marriage. Is she considered my daughter? In this Islam? is not the question. If you have a daughter out of marriage, is she yeah. considered as a daughter for you in Islam? No. Thank you very much. This is why you can have sex with her. <laughs> Because no, no, you just said, no, okay, no, you just no. said, you just said, because I ask you, if you have a daughter out of marriage in Islam, is she your daughter? You said no. And this is why you can have sex with her, because according to Islam, she is not your daughter. Thank you very much. So you got yourself busted by yourself. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You're not making sense yet. Repeat, my friend, you are the one who said to me a second ago, what makes sense? I ask you, according to Islam, if you have a daughter out of marriage, is she considered your daughter? You said no. Everybody heard you. I said no, yes. Okay. 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 So she is not your daughter. What does that mean? It means she is just a, a foreign woman for you. She is lawful for you. As long as she is not your daughter, according to you, that means she is not your daughter. She is not relative. That's it. Okay. okay so according okay. to Islam, you okay. can have sex with your daughter. Okay. In the first place, I'm not allowed to have sex outside the marriage. That's haram in the first place. So that's not working out. It's not haram. What? So what, 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 what? 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 Say again. You said to me, if I have sex with someone outside of marriage, that's mm. not allowed in the first place. So the premise is wrong. Well, this is the not the uh, first of all. No, it's it is halal. Show me, show me. Okay. Oh, here Zina, we go. You're a prophet. He says you can hire a woman for three days, three nights stand. Uh, no, no, muta, muta. Uh, so muta, muta is so, a marriage. Muta. Is a muta is a marriage. Muta is abrogated. But this doesn't matter. You said to me in Islam, we cannot have sex without marriage. Is that marriage to hire a woman for three days three nights and you Muslim you put between two bracket translation temporarily marriage there's no marriage there Muhammad never said Mary he says any man any woman they want to have sex together live together for three days three nights if they like they can if they like to enjoy, to, to enjoy more they can extend yeah, but then that's a that's muta that's, that's abrogated what do you want okay well, hold on did you say it's abrogated yes okay Umar, Umar, why Umar Allah al okay so Allah allow you to do adultery no, it's been abrogated. I okay, you. I know, I know. What is muta? Is muta is adultery or it's marriage? Muta is muta is temporary marriage. How how marriage can be temporary? What does that mean? It's contract. Then you sign a contract. Contract for, for what? Days, contract for what? For sex, correct? Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. temporary. It's marriage, a contract yeah. for sex. How that can be marriage? How somebody hire a woman and you have to pay her? Is it true that you In have to agree? Is it true that you have yeah. to agree with the women about how much she will get paid? Correct. Shia, that's Shia belief. That's my Shia friend, belief. this is Sunni. Stop being Shia. This is Sunni. This is Sunni. No, no, you are a Muslim and you okay. Let me let me ask you, did your prophet practice muta? Bro, I just answered your question, Like you, you jumped, you know how much you jumped. I'm not jumping. Here we go. You are the one who said to me, We are not a, we are a Muslim, we are not allowed to do as uh, have sexual relationship without marriage. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, you, okay so uh, your prophet allow you to sleep around. And your prophet used to sleep around, and I actually she used to sleep around, and all of you you sleep around, but you claim that you are the best. Now we go back. No, no, please. You, no, no, we no. go back to zero. Now you said to me, your daughter from adultery, she is not your daughter, correct? Bro, well, can you answer my question? You made a claim in the beginning. You said that we are allowed to marry our daughters. You have not provided. I just to provide you, just to prove it to me. You said to me that your daughter okay. from adultery is not your daughter. That's me. Well, is your daughter? Let me ask you the question. Is the daughter is your daughter? The question you asked me. Can you answer? It? Well, if I have a daughter from adultery, yes, she's my daughter. I mean, this is stupid she's to say she's not. <laughs> you know, oh, ha she's, ha she's... having sex, having sex with a woman and making that woman deliver a child from you, that make that child your son or your daughter, regardless if it's a marriage or not. But in Islam, Islam, but in Islam, hold on, you're a prophet saying that if you have a relationship out of Islamic Sharia law religion, that means this, this child is lawful for you to even to marry. Because she is not your no, daughter. So Zina is not allowed in the first place, so that is no. It's allowed. Happen. I just showed you that your prophet allow you to sleep around. What do Zina? Where is show Zina? Me. It's in the front show of me. you. Any man, any woman, they can yes. agree together. Okay, show me. Clear, okay, hold on, hold on. You show me where this this uh, this is abrogated. Where muta is abrogated? Where? Show me. I'll show you. Don't worry, man. Hmm. Is that in the Quran? Bro, just wait, wait. You asked me a question, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> I really came here to show you why Jesus is not Ilahi, but yeah. Mm, okay.
I can't talk about you, it. No. You forced me into a topic that I never came in for. Oh, no, okay. And uh, we will go to your topic. No problem. Bismillah. Uh, need to buy. Uh, okay, all people are used to allow you in, to engage in muta marriages, but now Allah has forbidden that until the day of Yom al Qiyamah. So, whoever has any wives in a muta marriage, you should let her go and do not take anything of the money you have given them. Narrated by Sahih Muslim 1406. All right, thank you very much. Did you say in the hadith it says Allah forbidding you? No, I just gave you dua. No, no, no. What else do you want? Does it say in the hadith Allah forbidding you? No, the Prophet this is a new one. You have my friend, my friend, does it say that Allah forbidden you? The Prophet, hey, the Prophet said Allah forbidden you, correct? Well, I just gave you no, 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 it didn't say that. It says that. Read again, read the hadith again. All people, I used to allow you to engage. This is the Prophet speaking, not Allah speaking. Mm, yeah, I know, but who, who, did he say Allah forbidden you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Allah forbidden you. Where Allah he said to Muhammad, it's forbidden. Show me the verse in the Quran. One second, one second. Mm. You want to call a friend? You can call, it's okay. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Where is the verse in the Quran? Because he said, Allah forbidden you. Okay, where is the verse in the Quran where Allah he said to Muhammad, From today, yeah. and from now on, it's forbidden? Where it says that? Oh, you want the Quran, Quran verse? Mm. Aren't you the second I go? I said to you that you can have sex with your daughter. You said to me, Show me, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the verse in the Quran, show me the word daughter in the Quran. I want you to show me the same words as you just said in the Quran. Okay. Hmm. I'm, so, going you, I'm going by your logic, your rules. The evidence you gave me about the, uh, the three days, where did you find that? Was that in the, the, no, 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 don't change topic. Show me where in the Quran your prophet he said, Allah forbidden you. From doing muta'an no more. Okay, show me. Why, you are the one who said to me. You are the one who said to me. Show me the word. Show me the word. Show me the daughter. Daughter. Where daughter? Daughter. Okay. Show me where in the Quran. <laughs> I got you there. I, I want you. There. No, you got me. Now you got. Now I showed you the proof, and I got you busted. And now, oh, you show got, me you where. Got, show me where in the Quran. Just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muslims. Show me where in the Quran it says you don't do muta'an no more. Qurtubi is not ma'asum, but let's carry on. Yeah, I'll, this I'll is not al Qurtubi. This is not al Qurtubi. This is Quran. And now I'm asking you. Your prophet saying you can do muta. Your prophet said you can do muta, correct? And this yeah, is he abrogated it though at the end. He abrogated okay, what is the abrogated verses? When you abrogate a verse, you have to you have to bring a verse to abrogate it. Show me the verse which says muta al Chapter 4, verse 24. <laughs> you don't know, don't you? Shia translation, Shia, Shia tafsir, man. What's uh, Shia tafsir? Chapter 4, verse 24. This is not okay, the Shia. Say, this is... Allowed, yeah. yeah. Chapter 4 verse number 24 and not only that I can show you even yet you your your Sunni after Muhammad die you 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 practice muta. Chapter 4 verse 24 yeah Okay hold on here we go This what is, is your, chapter hold on. 24 Yeah chapter 4 verse number 24 read with me carefully this is Sahih Muslim this is Sunni Does it say that you Muslims practice muta even after Muhammad die Abu Umar Abu Bakr he did Umar he did all the caliphate they read it so how it's forbidden by Muhammad? Muhammad die now, and now they are the caliphate. How how Muhammad die, and the caliphate after him they are practicing muta. Hello, hello, yeah. How Muhammad okay. die? Okay. How Muhammad die, and the muta is forbidden as you claim. And yet Abu Bakr and Umar, who they are Sunni, and this is Sahih Muslim. This is not a Shia. They are saying they practice it. We practice it in time of Muhammad. We practice it after the time of Muhammad. Read it. Uh, you, you, one second. Go, go on. I was reading the Surah of Wafers 24. But... Did you on YouTube? Yeah? Let me read it. My friend, what's wrong with you? Do you not know Ch Ch chapter 4 of 24? Open it. Read it. Chapter 4 of 24. I mean, I give you said to me what chapter I give it to you. Open it and read okay, it. I'm looking at and now. So I'm wait, showing wait, you wait. in the screen. Stop lying. You said this is Shia. So I you forced me to go and show you a hadith from the Sunni. It says that we practice muta in the lifetime of Muhammad. And after that, during the lifetime of Abu Bakr. And after that, during the lifetime of Omar. So you Muslim, you practice muta after Muhammad's death. How it's forbidden. One second, one second. Hey, let's do this one. Let's do this one by one, step by step. Mm. So you gave me Surah 4, verse 24. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
And prior to this ayah, we know that Allah said in the Quran, the woman who a man is forbidden to marry, mm. then he mentions what is permissible for them. Mm. And he commands the man to give the woman mm. that he marries the mahr, you feel me? Mm. I know this is shi'i, shi'i, you getting this from shi'i, what's it called, tafsirs. What the Quran does not say, mut'azirat, it says, so with those of whom you have enjoyed sexual relations, <laughs> give them their mahr as prescribed. Mm. You okay. feel me? Uh-huh. The, the Rafida quote this ayah, Okay. In value. You, 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 have, you have to pay money to. Okay. Let, let, let me ask you. What try, what uh, interpretation you like? What is your who is your best scholar? Give me give me give me mujahid mujahid mujahid. Okay. I will go to mujahid. That's wonderful, guys. He like mujahid. I mean, uh, customers come first. Mujahid. Okay. We will go to mujahid. Okay. okay. Here we go. We go to mujahid. Oh, listen, we're going to get back to Isa. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. After this. Yeah, you can get back anytime you want. No problem. Yeah, CP. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll move this so now we go to Mujahid. Let us see what is Mujahid. You see, I'm showing you on the screen the scholars. Here we go. Mujahid. Uh, well, you people in your chat are so stupid. Man. Hold I on, hold on. You remember? Show them. You are you are the one who chose Mujahid, right? So if, if we, on, if we show you Mujahid, you don't say I don't accept Mujahid. Where is Mujahid? Let us see Mujahid. Mujahid. Um, let's see here. Mudrak Tanzil. Where is Mujahid? Tasir at Tabrasi at Okay, Abni Arafa. Abu Hayyan. Hold on. I see I'm just trying to find you the one you want, Mujahid. Where is Mujahid? Where is Mujahid? I hope they have Mujahid here. I remember the here we go. We find Mujahid. Finally. Hmm. And now we go. 24 okay <laughs> all right there's nothing in Mujahid about the verse look this is what he wrote nothing nothing Mujahid is a very little tiny tafsir anyway there's nothing no 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 Mujahid is not tiny tafsir okay read it here we go uh, how the whole verse in the front of you and the whole interpretation is to align. Where is the tip? Yeah, read it. Read it. It says nothing. You yeah, read it. Read it. Read it. You read it. Where, where, where does it? Um, it's in the screen. Read read it. It. Read, it. Okay. read, read it, isn't it? Like, there's nothing there to read. What? Uh, he's talking about he, different well, verses. No, no, no. He's reading. He's, 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 he's quoting for you, it says. That uh, you know, uh, uh, from etc. From from Adam, from 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 from. He said it's that translated, if, translated and if you f each of. other, if you f each other, he mean okay. to have sex with each other. By the way, what kind of God he says if you f to each other? Oh, just read the tafsir, man. I'm, I'm reading the tafsir. He says, وَقَدْ أَفْضَى بَعْدَكُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ يَعْنِي الْمُجَامَعَةِ. If you f each other, يَعْنِي الْمُجَامَعَةِ. Do you see it it's in front of you? Okay, then okay. Okay, what kind of God do you agree with this? Your God, he's saying, your God, he doesn't speak about muta at all here. Uh, hmm? uh, CP, where's the muta? There's no muta. Okay, alhamdulillah, let's carry on. Carry on what? Yes. Carry on what? Alhamdulillah, let's carry okay. on. Now that's me, that's me, you are Muslim, are a bunch of liars because here he mentioned nothing about the verse. The whole verse is gone. Where is the verse? What is the verse? What is the verse? What is the verse? What is the verse? He's not explaining. Kurtubi said, Kurtubi said, if you have Mujahid, you don't need Al Kurtubi? You want Al Kurtubi? This is not Al Kurtubi, this is Mujahid. And he said nothing. Kurtubi said about Mujahid, if you have Mujahid, you don't need anything else. Ah, so if what about we go to Al Kurtubi? Is that okay? Oh, no, no, no. Let's finish. It's finished now. I just gave the tafsir. No, no, you gave me nothing. You gave me nothing. Next topic. Okay, let me get you busted in front of everybody. Hold on. In a second. Read with me carefully. Read with, read, with <laughs> read with me carefully. Read me with me carefully. Read me with me carefully. Okay. Now let us see. Let us see if this is about muta or not. What's this though? What? What? Uh, I will show you in English. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody will see in a in a minute that you are lying and trying to run away. What are you reading? What's What's the on YouTube now? What is okay. this? 
hold, hold on but by the way isn't it you who said to me it's abrogated when you spoke to me in the beginning you said to me muta is abrogated oh, i gave you the evidence though well, well, no 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 it. hold on okay when you say abrogated that's mean it's in the quran so which verse in the quran according to you if this is not the oh, verse hadith hadith can abrogate so you hadith. muslims you, you muslim you say hadith of muhammad is the word of allah no, it's the, he knew what he knew. So how you say abrogated then? To say abrogated, that's mean Allah word is abrogated. So are you saying to me Muhammad word is abrogated? Yes, Muhammad I'm word. That Allah says I abrogate my verse with that with okay. a similar one. Read carefully. Thing. Read carefully. Let me get you busted. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and the reason I'm showing it because it's ah, in English. Ah, no, no, Ibn Abbas got wrong. Ibn Abbas got wrong. He's he's wrong. What about Ibn Kathir? Yes, what about Ibn Kathir? What about what about Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas at the end of his life. What about Ibn Kathir? Well. What about Ibn Kathir? Change his opinion. What about Ibn Kathir? Bro, this is just this provide you evidence, man. What about Ibn Kathir? Ibn Kathir, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't read it. So you can read it. Okay, what about Al Qurtubi? Bro, just read it. I haven't read it. So just read it. Huh? You want me to read Ibn Kathir? Just read it. Okay, you want, you want me to read Ibn Kathir? You want me to go to Ibn Kathir? Say yes. Just read it and you said you can read it. What else do you want me to do? Well, it's in the front of you. It says here, it says this is about okay. having having relationship with women who you agreed for limited period of time. Do you see it? Yeah, go on. Hmm. Do you see it? But this but this lawfulness of this practice was later abrogated. You okay, lie so this is the verse. So this is the verse about muta. Why are you are lying saying this is not the verse about so muta? You got busted. Guys, I am the one who got busted. This is the verse about well, look muta. At, look at the I'm reading your page on the page. Read it. It says this is about Muta in front of you. I know, but what does it say though? <laughs> so it says abrogated. I said to you where it's abrogated. Okay, so now you accept it's abrogated. No, you see, in the beginning you said it's not in the Quran, you lie. Secondly, I don't accept it's abrogated because I showed you proof it's oh, not. Here we go. Though. Here we go. Here we go. In the front of you. In a, uh, hold on, my friend. <clears throat> in the front of you, it says that in the time of the Prophet, we did Muta, and after Muhammad, we did Muta. <clears throat> Do you see it? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Okay, Abu Bakr and Umar. How it's abrogated and Abu Bakr and Umar doing muta? Umar himself abrogated. Let me give you the hadith. My friend, the, the hadith Athar. in the front of you. This is Sahih. Stop lying. It's in the front of you. So if you Muslim have different story, that's mean you are opposing each other. That's mean Muslim, Islam is a stupid see, religion. No, no, you, you're, you're running from a in the front of you. In the front of you, does it say we we benefit ourselves from muta during the lifetime of the Prophet? And during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and Omar, so we have two caliphate. We have two caliphate after the death of of, of of Muhammad, and you are practicing muta. So how it oh, is forbidden? Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? How it is forbidden, and you practice it? Okay, can you hear me? I do. <clears throat> okay, mm. so you just gave me the athar of uh, Omar and Abu Bakr, correct? Mm. This okay, hadith. so okay, I see what you're saying. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna research that. Mm. But we have the direct saying before the prophet died. We have a saying of him saying, "Yo, okay, let me, this, ha this, this happened before." Okay, you know what? I will, I will go with you, so you're, guys. You're, Muhammad, you're, Muhammad, you're, he abrogated the Quran. So the Quran okay, says you can do muta. Muhammad is more important than Allah. He can destroy the Quran, and he can abrogate the Quran by two words from his own mouth. Sahih, sahih. What do you mean, sahih? Authentic hadith can abrogate the Quran, yes. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Muhammad, if he says something, he can go against Allah and he can abrogate. Who gave him the authority? No, no, no. Your, your chain was set to Who, gave him, you the, who the gave him the authority? Who gave him the authority to destroy the Quran? Allah gave him the authority. So Allah, he gave Muhammad authority to destroy the Quran of Allah? No, I never said that. No, listen. When you uh, say abrogate, uh, when you say abrogate in the Quran, how Muhammad can abrogate the Quran by saying a word? Okay. So we believe the hadiths are revelation. Do you understand this? Mm. Hadith is a revelation too? The hadith, yes, the hadith, the hadith is, is revelation. Okay. So yes, guys, sahih, we believe is, that the hadith is a revelation. Okay. When Muhammad, he received revelation to have sex without marriage. Is that revelation from God or from Satan? That's the problem here. When Muhammad, when Muhammad, he received revelation, you can do muta. Was that muta from God or from Satan? Allah says in the Quran, I abrogate verses with better or similar ones. If you how, how Allah can make better Quran than Allah? See, look at the question. You're asking metaphysical questions. Like what why, metaphysical? Why, how, you are, how, the, you how, are how. the one who just said Allah will make Quran better than the Quran. That's stupid. How so, Allah how Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah? So now we have two Quran. One is bad and one is better. This is what you just said to me. Oh, not what well, bad. I said similar or better. You said better. Thank you very much. When we say better, that's mean the first one was bad. No, it doesn't mean it's bad, not necessarily speaking. What no, do you mean? What mean. do you mean? No, you said better. 
You, everybody you say heard... better. This is the, it doesn't make the first one bad. It uh, no, make it makes it bad because this is why he deleted. Why he deleted? Because oh. the first one. This is this is why he deleted the first one. Wait, Correct? wait. So if I if, why listen, he, if I create, okay if I, why why he has given you better? I think, you, I think there's an English barrier here. Listen, if I have literature, if I provide a literature to you today, a poem, mm. and I write a better one tomorrow, mm. the first one doesn't is not bad. It's just better. The mm. first one is okay. The, the, okay, the if I say to you See. now, we have this uh, tomato and this tomato, and this one is better. That's mean the first one is not equal to the second one, and it's yes, not, not good. Equal. It's not good because this is no, better. It's not, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, no, okay, it okay. Mean it's not good. hold on. No, no, no. How Allah can make Quran better than the Quran? Forget about that. How Allah can make Quran better than the Quran? Yeah, Allah is all powerful. He's all knowledgeable, man. He so Allah is challenging Allah. Allah. Like wh why Allah He made oh. the Quran first is not good enough. To the point he needs well, to ask me a question it. how did your god become a man no no oh, like, I, there, I will answer you no problem but you see you are saying things which is crazy <laughs> you are saying to me you know why am i okay here we go but... we will go how god can become a man do you want to see he became a man bro. you want to see on. but my god he will not make a bible better than the bible that would be stupid <laughs> now let us go here we go you're god you're, you're, you're a prophet he explained how god become a man are you going Shall to I say you? are you going to say to your prophet you are a liar too you are the one who said to me whatever the prophet he says is from allah Correct? CP, shall I show you abrogation in your book? Isn't it you who said to me a second ago, whatever the Prophet says is from Allah, Wahyu, and you, how you keep repeating that to me? Can I, can I, can I, can I say something? No, we want to go to the topic. The topic you're no, like. No, you made it. No, how no, God actually, became a man. Actually. Explain to me how God became fat and short, and he have a curly hair, the height in the front of you. And he have two eyes. And he have five fingers. And he have a foot. And he have a shin. And he have an ass. And he have a penis. How God can be that? You're gonna me. get to that. You're gonna get to that. But listen, you 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 arguing saying yo, how can Allah make a better or similar verse? Correct. Mm. You're saying yo, is your Allah this this that? Yes. Yeah. Correct. How Allah can make Quran better than okay, the Quran? How come? How come you have abrogations in your book, the Torah? But this does not. Th but, but this does not mean better. <laughs> you see. And sec secondly, Jesus said, "I came to fulfill, not to destroy." So Jesus did not say, "I came to no, give you better." Right. Hold on. Jesus never said I came to give you a better Bible from the Bible. That's stupid of you to say. Can he stone verses? Can he can he no, do, he do said, you stone the homosexual? He said I came to fulfill, to complete, not to destroy. Your God here is saying, I'm going to give you Quran, I'm going to destroy Quran and give you better Quran in the same time for the same prophet. I mean, you're a prophet, he says something in the morning, afternoon he changes his mind. This is how fast it is. What is what is the point of making Quran better than the Quran for the same year, for the same day, for the same week? Why? CP, what's the law for homosexuals? What's the law? What's the what's the punishment? For what? Homosexuals in 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 Jesus death. in the injil in the injil death <clears throat> death by stoning mm. in the injil. Show me the verse. Show me the verse for that. What about you? Show me the verse too. If I show you, are you willing to do no, that? Show me the verse for for stoning homosexuals. It's death by stoning by stoning or by anything death and and what is next and what is next? No, I'm asking. You. What is no, the, no, no, what no. is I'm next? I'm, a, I'm asking you, thing. what is next? What why you are I'm going sure there? There are things in the Injil that abrogate the Torah. Where, where? Okay, show me the verse in the Bible where it abrogate the Torah. Okay, let me show you. Let me find it for you, man. Hmm. Remember, you said about homosexual, right? Now that that was just a minor thing, you feel me? No, no, no. You mentioned it. Show me where in the Bible it says <laughs> it's abrogated. It's abrogated. So you are a liar. You are a liar. There's no single verse in the whole Bible is abrogating anything. Okay, so the Torah a, does not. Uh, so... Listen, listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Did your who, God? Whoever cast the first stone was it? Whoever cast the first stone? Yeah. This is so abrogation. This is abrogation. Yeah. Where is the abrogation? Whoever cast the first stone, what, what, what is the abrogation? What is the abrogation? He is saying, saying to them, You are a hypocrite, you are a hypocrite sinner, like you are a sinner, and you are a hypocrite. If you are not a sinner like her, cast your stone. If you are not, you can't be insulting. So, I'm not insulting so, you. Man. So, no, no, I'm not insulting you. You are being hypocrite. That's what I'm saying. It's not insult because this is here. No abrogation. Show me where Jesus says, Don't do that no more, or don't follow this no more, or this book is not for you no more. Why you are lying? Or what Why he said to them, they are a bunch of hypocrites like the Muslims who they want to practice Allah over somebody, but they don't practice the law over Muhammad. As an example, Muhammad is adulterous. He sleep around and he was busted even by his wife, but nobody stoned Muhammad. Muhammad was accused by Muslim to be a thief and nobody cut the hand of Muhammad. Muhammad was accused and get busted that he fabricate word about Allah and nobody killed Muhammad. So you Muslims, you, 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 you practice the law over a poor person, but the one who do the big lies and the bigger crimes, nobody go after him. How you can bring a woman for adultery when there is no man? 
how you can bring a woman for adultery and there's no witnesses how you can bring women for adultery and stone her take your life and you have no proof and there's no judge and there's no court so Jesus was saying to them they are a bunch of hypocrites now I'm asking you you mentioned something about punishment to death for adultery can you show me the punishment for adultery in the Quran Bro, you're running from like I let you speak now. You are the one I answer no, you. No, 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 it's how come? So how come in your Quran? How come in your Quran you don't have a punishment for adultery of death? What I happened? Worship three gods. Where is where is the punishment for death in the Quran for adultery? It's in the Hadith. Where is in the Hadith? So where is the, what, what happened to the Quran? It wasn't the Quran. No, the whole, see, I'm not Quranist. What's wrong with you? Man? You don't believe in the Quran. Right. You don't believe in the Quran. I'm not Quran. I'm not Quranist. What does that mean? You don't believe in the Quran. I'm not a Quranist. You know what that means. What is that? No, I do not know what that means. What does that mean? Yes, yes, you know what that means. No, I do no, not know. Tell me. I'm, I'm learning from you. What does that mean? The person who just follows the Quran, he didn't take from the Sunnah. Okay, so you follow Hadith and Quran. Okay, but where? Hadith, Quran, okay, is Hadith, it true? Quran, is it true Jumea, that there was a verses yes. in the Quran for adultery, stoning to death, and the goat ate it? There was, there was, that's Masuk and uh, Masuk and was what's it called, man? Was, 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 yeah. Read it. This is the hate in front of you. This is Aisha and this is Sahih. <laughs> this is Sahih. It says that the verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. Where are they? Uh, so basically, what we believe is that the last few days of Prophet's time, he recited the Quran twice, and that's the Quran that we have. So, anything this is not the Quran, this is another Quran. question where is the verse of stoning to death according to Aisha? The goat ate it, correct or wrong? Listen, what is what is what's the, what's the, what's who the is the one who abrogated this verse, the goat or Allah? There was verses in the Quran, there was verses, not only one, many verses. Of his, about is, stoning I, to death. What's this emphatic sentence? About stoning to about death. About stoning to death and about a breast feeding for adult. Who is the one who abrogated those verses? The goat or Allah? It's the Prophet sallallahu So by default, it's Allah subhanahu wa taala. What do you mean? Where it says that? Show me. Here we go. Aisha, she's saying the verse of stoning and breast feeding for adult ten times was revealed. Show me the verses where it was said by Muhammad in the Hadith that you have to do ten times breast feeding for adult. Can you show me that? Listen, is that is the, is that verse in the Quran today? You are the one who just said to me, I'm not Quranic I'm only, which means I follow Hadith. A second ago, you said to me, I follow Hadith and I follow Quran. Here we go. This I'm is not, Hadith. Not, exactly, Listen, exactly. no, you said that. Everybody heard you. Yes, you said, you said to me, to. you said to me, you don't follow Quran only. You follow Hadith and Quran. And this is the Hadith saying there was a chapters have breastfeeding for adult 10 times and there's a stone exactly. to death. Okay, where we can find those verses? Okay, so I'm asking you a line of question to answer your question. And is that hadith that verse that was abrogated is in the quran today how you can abrogate it if it's not in the quran to be abrogated question. i'm asking a question you see is you, that in the you, quran today? you don't answer the question with the question you tell me where it is first so we can find out where okay. it is where where is me this verse first me. what happened to this it's verse not, is it it's true? Not in the quran today. is it true that god ate it bro a rhino ate the bible yesterday so what if what is that if true is that true that god ate it that's why you don't have it through a rhino ate the Bible. What you see, you are you are being a, you, you are being now a kid. I'm talking to a man game, supposedly. Man. Games, I'm talking to a man. Games. I'm talking to a man. Here the Aisha is saying, not me, that the verses of etc. etc. breastfeeding for adult. By the way, what kind of a God he ordered with my respect to your mother to give her breast to a stranger? I mean, this is filthy religion. So breastfeeding for adult, and how you can do that, you must be sick. And then it's stoning to death. Both of them are well, eating. Explain by. your God. Explain your God becoming a man. See, here explain we go. Here you go. You change the topic in a second. Explain your you see, guys. You see, you see, guys. You see. Here we go. I will explain to you how my I God. Lost no problem. No I problem. Lost we will switch the topic pagan, for you. Pagan, we will switch the topic for you. Here we go. You're a, pro man. you're a prophet. You're a prophet saying. You're a prophet. Hold on. Stop. Stop being a kid. You're a prophet saying that your God Allah is a man, and He is short, and He is fat, and He have a curly hair. Answer the question. Why I'm answering you, you. I'm answering you. Here we go. What do you say answer to your question. What do you, do you, what do you say? Question. What do you say to your prophet saying that your God Allah is a short? No answer he's with fat, the question, man. And he is a curly hair person and he is not one eyed. Do you agree with your prophet or not? Can you answer my question? Why do you worship man? I'm answering you. We don't worship when man, we worship God. It's you who worship a man. His when name is Muhammad. Know. You worship Jesus, man. Just get lost. You are just a kid. You've been served. <clears throat> Coward.
The second you get them busted, they keep jumping from topic to topic to topic. We said, okay, let's talk about the man, Jesus. We start, he said, he switch. We go to the other one, he switch. Then he go back. And then we showed him, okay, if you are against believing that God can be a man, well, here we go, your God is a man. And not only a man, look at this description, he's ugly. And even your prophet is worried that you Muslims might think that he is Allah, the short man in front of you. Why? Because they look the same. The only difference between them is the eye, one eye. So look at this stupid cult. They don't have a holy book. They don't have a holy hadith. Hadith is fabricated. Quran is fabricated. Allah made Quran better than the Quran. What kind of God he made Quran but better than the Quran? <laughs> Why? Because Muhammad, he, he make poo, poo people, they start laughing at him. So what he do? He say, ah, any uh, verses we make, Allah will make better than it. If you go to the interpretation, you will see people, they were laughing at Muhammad, saying that Muhammad, he give his, he enjoy his follower an order in the morning, and he change it in the afternoon or maximum a day after. For he's a liar. And who is the one who caused to forget Quran? Allah. How Allah can cause you to forget Quran? I thought the shaitan, and I can show you the verses. It is shaitan who make you forget Quran. But here Muhammad want to explain why he cannot remember what he said. Have you ever heard of a prophet cannot recite the same verse twice correctly? Because he's a liar. A liar, he cannot repeat the same story twice correctly. Because you do not know what he said just yesterday. So Muhammad want to explain himself why he is making those errors. Oh, this is a better Quran. Oh, this is a Allah make me forget the Quran. Oh, don't worry. Allah will make it better or similar. What the point? If it's going to be similar, so why you are making something else? It's similar. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? will make me forget the Quran to make a similar Quran similar so you have a three uh, a bedroom house I'm going to destroy it to give you a three bedroom house it's the same <laughs> and remember we are talking here about the same prophet not like after 10 centuries where life changed this is the same man in the morning he says something in the afternoon, he says something else. And why he do that? Because he's a false prophet. <clears throat> Is it clear? Very clear. Why you are calling me back? Well, are you why, going why, to play games again? I can end the call if you want. Huh? Are you going to play games again? Oh, listen, I don't understand. You dictate the conversation, though, man. No, you are the one. You are the one who don't stand for your question. You said to me about Jesus being God, correct? Okay. Okay. All right. Why you're a prophet? Worry that the Muslims. See, now you change the subject again. I'm man. not. I'm not. I'm not. This is the topic. How Allah can be a man? How Allah can be a man? My God is capable. He is Almighty. He can come to us as a man. Your God cannot, according to you. If this is a true. That's mean Allah himself is just a man because he is not coming as a man. He is a man to the point Muhammad is afraid that you are going to be confused between him and the false Messiah. So listen to me carefully. My God what? can come as a man because he's almighty God. He can do whatever he wish. Your God cannot. So he, can become a goat. he can become a goat and a rhino. He can, he can be whatever he wants. Your God already is a goat. Your God is already is a goat. You want to show you? Okay. If I show you that your God Allah is already a goat, what you will do? Oh my can I speak for a second? If I show you that Allah already is a horse, what you will do? You would do, isn't it Allah? Isn't it you must then believe that Allah He made the horses sweat, and from the sweat, which means the piss of the horses, He made Himself. Show me that. Okay, hold on. Allah made Himself from horse. Yes. So he said, okay, yes. Me. Yes. <clears throat> that, that man. Hmm. Yeah, man. So while you're looking for it, let me just speak in it. So you just admitted his paganistic ways. Whereby Christians have not Christians, we force the Christians to admit now God can become a goat, a, a horse, a donkey because they have to. You can, you can laugh as you wish. My God, He can come, He can be whatever He wants. He's God. I know. You are the I one, know. you are you are the one, you are the one who believe that your God cannot be correct. You know what you know what you look okay. at. That can God, can your God, can 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 your God do things or He cannot? 
he does anything that befits okay can human. can your god become a bird or he cannot i just answered that quick I'm I'm no i'm asking you can your god become a bird can he or he cannot he does anything that befits his majesty no this is not a question i'm asking you specific a question can he be god and yet he can be a bird in the same time can he or he cannot well, i don't answer them kind of questions man. no you have to answer i answer you why you are a coward and them kind of questions are like you know. No, you are a dumb. I you asked me the same dumb question. I answered you. Even you are dumb. You, oh, I'm not, I'm you just not, admitted that your question to me was dumb, and I answered you. Oh, no, now you I'm are making excuse. Can your God be God in the same time, and He come as a bird? Can He or He cannot? He gonna He's gonna come as how? Is, how can a bird? This is not the question. Food? This is not the question. Can Allah be a bird and a? God in the same time, yes or no? Can he be a girl? I don't, no, I don't. I don't think so. No. So Allah no. cannot make himself no, he can't a, be a bird because this. Okay, stupid. that's wonderful. Here we go. I want you to according then. Reason. Okay, how the Quran says then that Allah He will change his shape. Your prophet said that. Yeah, what is this? I don't understand why you jumping. I asked you a question. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, you, we are an, we are answering you. We are answering everything here is in the topic. Here we go. You're, a, topic. I you're a prophet. To you're a prove. you're a prophet saying that Allah He have many shape and He changes shape, and you did lie to me. You said to me Allah cannot do that, cannot. No, I told you Allah cannot okay. become a, a, okay. a bird. Okay, okay. The shape Allah. 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 Okay, the shape Allah. Why Allah? You said to me Allah will not take a shape which is not fit with His Majesty. Correct? Yeah, yeah. It's All not right. fit His Majesty. Here we go. Your prophet that. saying you are a liar. Your prophet Show saying. Me oh, here we go. Your prophet will come. He says to them that Allah will come to you. In a shape other than the one you know, and he will say, I'm your Lord. And you Muslims will say, You will think he's shaitan. Oh, I read this before. I read this before. I read this. Before. So, why you die to me? You just said to me that Allah will not come to you in a shape does not fit his majesty. Why you must majesty? Okay, so why yeah. you must have rejected him if the shape fit his majesty? No, that's not, no, 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 no. They, we do not recognize him. That does not mean no, he came in a shape no, no. You not only you did not recognize him. You say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means you are satanic, you are evil. No, it does not mean satanic. It does not mean satanic. No, the Quran says you seek refuge with Allah when shaitan, he whispers yes. into you only. Yes. So you seek, seek refuge, refuge with Allah from shaitan. Is Allah shaitan here? Yes. You seek refuge from everything, not only satanic. Okay, hold on. Why, no, why, you reject, why you did not recognize him here? What the problem? You don't recognize him because we have not seen him before. How are you gonna recognize so, him? Hold on. So how you cook? Oh, you see how stupid your prophet is. How if you she don't rec hold on, hold on, guys, listen to this. What I he said. Jesus, Jesus. Everybody is laughing now. You just said we did not recognize him because we never saw him before. He and the coward. But he says he come to you and he says I am your Lord and your Lord and then you recognize him. So how you refuse him first time? How you accept him second time? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. This is your God. My God, He can be whatever He wants. He's Almighty God. Your God is a potato. He cannot. And look how, they, how silly the questions. Can your God become a dog? Like, what about His uh, uh, can be cockroaches? Uh, silly. He's just being silly. Why you call him Almighty if he cannot do things? He's not Almighty then. And your God, they created from the sweat of horses. Yes, I uh, so it will be real quick. I, I promise. Mm, okay. So, so the Muslim guy, um, he, he, no, um, please don't take him as an authority of Islam because half of the things you're saying didn't make even sense, even to me as a fellow Muslim. But you saw my brother. Why, 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 why doesn't it make sense? What's wrong with him? No, but um, he says, right, um, if Allah goes into shape, it doesn't fit his majesty, right? Mm. Okay, but I believe, I, I believe God can um, go into shape but when he goes into that shape it's like um, he isn't limited he still has the features of God hmm. so what that will do so so why you Muslims here in the hadith in front of us he come to you 
and you reject him did he come with the feature does not fit with God this is why you rejected him you said to him you are not our Lord no, because because uh, we didn't see him first of all so when, when you, well, something you, you accept him the comes, second time he we, come still you don't see him anyway I mean why you accept him second, second time did you see him oh. first time did you see him no so second time he come you accept him first time he come you don't accept him so what the difference between first time and second time first time he was wearing yeah, I, second time he was wearing a short yeah. second time he was wearing a suit why are you refusing first time or you accept him second time can i explain please go ahead all right but, uh, please promise me though uh, intro don't intro please go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. please 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 go ahead <coughs> So <clears throat> when the first time when the, the shape came, um, the Muslims um, they uh, don't know that who that is, and it's supernatural. So we, as humans, as you know, we tend to think it's something bad, like it's supernatural, it's probably a jinn, shaitan. And then that shape, he clarified himself the second time, and then the second time when he clarified himself, oh, he clarified himself. He just said, "I am." He just said, "I am your Lord." First time he said the same words. Second time he said the same words. Nothing changed. Read it. Not even one word additional. First word, first time he came. Second time he came. It's exactly the same sentence. "I am your Lord." That's all what he said. I am your Lord Allah. Uh, follow them, and the only reason will Allah will come to them in ship, and then uh, they know and will say, I am your Lord. They will say, We seek refuge with Allah from you. Mm. This obvious till our Lord comes to us and our Allah comes to us, we will recognize him. Then Allah will come to them in the shape. He know go go down a bit. Mm. Okay, scroll down. Yes. Okay, when the Allah comes to us, and when Allah comes to us, He will will not recognize that Allah will come to them and shape you know, and will say, I mean, not they will say, no, that you are so follow. Wait, did you fart? <laughs> no, 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 it was like this. Uh, your uh, prophet used to do that because they broke his teeth, all of them, they are gone. <laughs> I don't know how we can read the Quran. <laughs> I can show you your prophet. He lost his teeth. No. I don't know how we can read the Quran. I think he says just to say that I would be I mean, a prophet of God, his God could not protect his teeth at least so he can read the Quran to the Muslims. Continue. Go ahead. Stop, man. Well, it's it's um no. This is actually uh first time I really look into this thing. Does it say that the, the first time did he come with a shape or? He come to them in a shape other than the one they know or saw first time. Actually, the Hadith says other than the, the one they saw first time. No, not or yes. What? No, um, the first time when he appeared, did he come with a shape? Both of them, they are shape. We do not know what the first shape. We do not know what second shape. First shape is rejected. Second shape is accepted. Maybe Allah, he come as a horse first time. <laughs> What? No, no, no. It was something really supernatural what made the people believe. No. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of you. It says, يقول عن أبي هريرة قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أبو هريرة said that Allah when he wanted to create it himself he created the horses and then he made the horses run until the horses sweat, sweat very bad and then he created himself from the sweat of the horses. Uh, Your God Allah DNA is a horse DNA in the best scenario is a donkey sorry to say and your prophet saying that not me First of all what um, first of all what first of all what second of all you see you Muslim you call me to say to me that the first idiot he called me he's an idiot he don't present Islam are you a person who presents Islam supposed to you know more than him both of you are idiots you have no idea what I'm saying. I'm saying. No, I, you see, I'm not insulting say, you. Was, I'm saying no, to you, no. like, okay, why Allah rejected first time? Why he's accepted for the second time? You do not know. Okay, why Allah have a shape? Right, I'll explain. To you. Okay. Why Allah has a shape? Okay, why why Allah has a shape? Shape is a dimension. Correct. 
Is a shape as no, a dimension? Is the word shape a is a word shape is a dimension? No, when he goes into shape and then enters this world, he will enter our dimension. My friend, is the word shape as a dimension? Depends, depends. Maybe it could be a shape of spirit. Not a spirit. Your God Allah is not a spirit. Your God Allah is not a spirit. We Muslims wake up. You Muslims, you have no idea you are worshiping what? Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit. He's a, just a shape. He's a physical being. He's a statue. <clears throat> um, you are you making could, a sound um, of a horse now. Since I told you about your God, Allah is a horse. You keep saying, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> "What is that?" <laughs> is, isn't this oh, the sound man. of a horse? I was eating before this, so it's still what, in my what, what kind of God he made you himself know? from a horse, man? I mean, what's wrong with this God? I mean, you, you Muslims are really weird. <laughs> you worship a god is created from the piss of the horse because the sweat of the horse is a form of a piss. Sweat is other form of dirt come from our body. So when you say the sweat of the horse, that means Allah is created from the piss of the horse. And I showed you the hadith. I'm not the one saying that. No, but uh, all right, all right. Hmm. Uh, until uh, no. Um... And, and about the um, thing with the shape, yeah, you what? know why in the second time they believed? Why? Brother? Why? Because and it's like this. Let's say Moses in Egypt, he says to the Jews, Israelites, he says, uh, Yo, I'm, I'm a messenger from God. Hmm. You think they're going to believe instantly? No. They want a miracle. They want something supernatural. So maybe Allah came with a normal, uh, uh, you know, um, no. What's what's the shape? Normal shape, and they didn't like believe. What? And then like he, what? No, uh, like what? Like, like what? Like miracle. What do you mean? Uh, brought up a supernatural shape. What do you mean normal and shape? What, what do you mean normal shape? Just like every prophet came with something supernatural. What do you mean normal shape? What does that mean? A man shape. Yeah, I mean, uh, something in this uh, uh, earth. At what okay, so you know either about. a man, in the best scenario, a man, in the worst scenario, a horse or a goat. Okay, so why Allah coming to them as a man saying, I am Allah, worship me, if Allah is not a man? Allah is not a man, but he can go he, into he can. a man's shape. He can. Where uh -huh. she's limited. See, this is a different well, opinion from go... your brother. A second ago, he said, Allah cannot be a man. No, that's stupid because then he's not all um like he can't do everything then okay let me ask you but he's the thing okay he's the thing what yeah okay can allah have a son without having a wife he says be and this of course it can he can are you sure yes mm. oh you will go the quran says no um that's some that's uh, talk yeah that was um, like uh, a natural uh, way uh, uh, what the natural it's not way? Uh, 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 come on man you see uh, 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 the Quran says how Allah can have a son and he have no girlfriend so he cannot correct show me that one please please okay here we go come on man read it but I gotta go in a few minutes brother Wait, know, let me open this YouTube as usual is the worst name then. I want to correct a brother before me, but um, his origin of the heavens and earth. How can he have children when he has no wife? He created all things and he is the honor of his source of the earth. You forgot to make the, <coughs> uh, you forgot to make the horse sound at the end. Anyway, how can he have a children? How can he have a children and he don't have a girlfriend? By the way, it doesn't say wife, this is a lie. In Arabic, it says sahiba, which means girlfriend. So Allah is saying that how can he have a children if he don't have a girlfriend? So Allah is not almighty. Because the God of Mary, he did not say to Mary, how you, Mary, will have a son, you don't have a boyfriend. Mary have a son, but you don't have a man. The God of Islam cannot be the same God of Mary because the God of Islam cannot have his own son unless he have a girlfriend the God of Mary he can let Mary have a son yet she have no boyfriend so Allah he himself is a question his ability there's no way Allah is the Almighty God because Almighty God he can Allah cannot and you are the one who said to me yes he can I told you no and now the verse in the front of you as you see he cannot 
your God, Allah, is a potato. Mm. Did you say, hmm? You agree? Guys, he agree that his God, Allah, is a potato. Hmm. Okay, thank you. No, no. I, I, you agreed. You agreed. Everybody heard you. Everybody you said, hmm. You see? No, no, no. The truth come without noticing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I agree. This is really messed up. Um, hmm, yeah, my Allah, my Allah, He cannot. What, uh, what a God I have. Brother, thank you for this uh, conversation, brother. But I, I have uh, to go. I you. know I have to go. Okay, I know I have to go. Okay, uh, all right, go, go. All of you are the same. I put you in the pressure cook, and then when the pressure became so high, you said to me, "Please open, please open. I have to go." Yes, Abdul. Yeah, man, what happened? So what do you want to say to us about Allah have a shape? Yeah, so all I was trying to say is, in, yeah, man. Hmm. Why Allah have a shape? Like, what, what, what is the shape of Allah? Can we just deal with one topic without you jumping? We are, we are, this is the topic we are talking about it now. It's you who opened the topic, not me. My topic what is, is the shape, what is the shape of this... What is the shape of Allah? How Allah can be a man? Can we discuss your Bible for once? Yes, we are discussing the Bible in the same time because Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Muhammad is the counterfeit of the Bible. Well, the Bible is a corrupt so why, man made book. Why? What? The Bible is a corrupt man made Greek book. Greek book. Yeah, that's what okay, it is. hold on. Did you say the Bible is corrupt man made book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so why, you, so why are you a stupid God saying that hey, the, the Bible never corrupt? Another Bible that we have today. The Bible we have today is corrupted. Yeah, Hold on. No, he is saying he is saying that this is the book with them, the book of the Christians. The one, the one you have in you today. Well, your prophet he says, uh, your prophet says in the Quran that those who follow Jesus they will be victorious in the judgment day. So there's no yeah. way that their book will be corrupt, but yet they are going to be exist in the judgment day. Yeah, those who follow Jesus, that's uh, he's talking about the disciples, man. Yeah, the disciples, but they believe until judgment day. Here we go. This is hey, the Quran the says, and confirming, the and confirming what is with them. Was the Torah and the Bible in the time of your prophet corrupt or not? The time of the prophet, the, there's, there's three opinions. I'm man. asking you, don't tell me three opinions. The Quran in front of you, what three opinion? What three opinion? Why three? Opinion. Trinity three. again? Trinity again? People following Trinity? What three opinion? Guys, there's three opinion. Here we go. Now, it says, Allah, he confirmed what is with them. He confirmed the gospel. He confirmed the Torah. Yes or no? And he confirmed, the, obviously, he confirmed, the, obviously, he confirmed the authenticity of the Torah and the Bible. Yeah. But he never said, he, what you have in your hand today. No, he totally said that, there. read carefully. And when he come to them, confirming what is with them. Yeah, he confirmed it. What does the word confirm What mean? is with them? Yes, with I know. Them. What does that mean? Okay. What does it mean? That's mean the book with them in their hand. Yes, he confirmed it. What does that okay. mean? Okay, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was not changed, correct? No. Okay. It was changed. So what is the copy of that book? Why your prophet? The copy of that? It's so, been changed, so, man. so Islam, Islam is a lie because you Muslim, you say Allah, He sent the prophet Muhammad because the Christian they changed the Bible. Allah sent Prophet Muhammad because the Injil was changed, manufactured, manipulated. Okay, thank uh, you, so guys. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? He just said, Allah, he sent Muhammad because the Bible corrupted and changed. But the Quran, but the Quran, but the Quran here says, but the Quran here says it never been changed. Show me what the Quran says. The Injil was never changed by that. It's verbatim. in the front of you. Verbatim, verbatim. It's in the front of you. Okay, let's check. Hmm. Everyone heard him say, uh, Allah says the, the Bible has never changed. Okay, let's well, see it. Well, you know, you see, uh, you, you Muslims are very weird. If, if, okay, no, you're weird. You're weird. You Christians are well, very here. Weird. We go. You say that the Bible is corrupt, Christians, and Allah confirmed in the Bible. Christians, bro. And when they came to them, the Jews, a book, no, nah, no, nah, this is all brackets, man. I'm not dealing with this translation. Give me the verse, as you know, as if you know the verse. Do you know how Give to me the verse? Do you know how to read I know, it? I know, I know it by Arabic, Muhammad. As in, uh, uh, was it? Hmm. Yeah, 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 Okay, just give me the verse and I don't know the verse. Give me. You don't know the verse? Just give me the number. So reference. how you are reciting the verse but you do not know the verse? Oh, I know you, but how, just give me the verse, man. What if you are reciting the wrong verse and I'm saying to you, yeah, yeah. Just, just Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Then I'll check it right now. Go on, just give oh, me the verse. Okay. Well, this is the verse, chapter 2, verse number 
بيتكوين اوف ان ام بيزين الحمد لله ماشي ما جاي لي او واز رايت نو واز نوت رايت بس دفعني ما معهم كانوا من خويس او نو واز نوت رايت وات ايز 289 بيت سترونج وذ يو مان تشابتر 2 فيرس نمبر 89 تشابتر 2 تشابتر 2 فيرس نمبر 89 89 اي جست لوكت ات ات No, it's not. It's just to be very certain. When I'm at home, get out of my mind. Okay, let's go. I have no time. No more patience for kids. It's not. I show it to him in the front of him screen in Arabic and English. He says it's not. Anyway, guys, I have enough for today. Actually, my voice is tired. You can tell. And don't forget to download the video, share it, and as you see, Muslims, the Muslims are the same as somebody. His wife is a cheater on him, and he is the last one to know. And each time they call me, I show them what's happening. And they say, what? Where? We never heard this before. How? This can't be true. You must be lying. They never heard this before. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is yes we love the muslims but it doesn't mean we will let the muslim die and go to hell loving the muslims is saving the muslims is not the opposite so when somebody he says to you uh, that you are speaking a root, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.